Hey guys, and welcome towards the scale. So it's time to talk about some of the uh, newer plugins for GPT-4 and ChatGPT. And some YouTubers are going crazy for this plugin here, which is called WebPilot, which is an SEO plugin that is able to connect to the internet and give you some valuable insights. So we'll be testing it out and I have five use cases in mind and we'll check them one by one. And due to popular demand, the Candoxid Longan is back. So this is our donor website, so to speak, in this experiment at least. So let's get started. So the first experiment um, that I like to carry out, it has to do with, with the sitemap. So we have the sitemap for SaferDoc that contains all of the posts. So I would like to ask ChatGPT with this plugin activated based on the URL, what other, it's better to be concrete, give me 20 blog post ideas to get topical authority in the doc care niche. And let's see what happens. And the biggest mystery whenever you're using plugins is whether they'll be able to click on the website. So this one, oh, it actually read the sitemap, nice. Based on the blog post from the provided URL, here are 20 blog post ideas to gain topical authority in the dog care niche. The ultimate guide to dog nutrition, understanding your dog's behavior, how to train your dog, essential tips, dog grooming, choosing the right breed, the impact of diet, this one is good actually. How to handle dog allergies. This one is uh, relevant also. The benefits of dog training classes. How to deal with behavioral issues. The importance of dental care. How to travel safely with your dog. And I was kind of hoping that based on the sitemap, it would deduce that the uh, sub niche is uh, has to do with different foods. But it decided to take a broader approach to its recommendations. So these are all relevant recommendations, but I would have uh, loved them to be a little bit more narrowed down to what the website is about. But you can for sure try and rerun this prompt and substitute topical authority in the dog care niche to dog food niche or whatever. You need to fine tune the wording. So I think this is a pass, not something amazing, but a very good result nonetheless. Let's try the use case number two. And the use case uh, number two is uh, extracting LSI keywords. And uh, everybody's going crazy about Harpa and its ability to extract LSI keywords. So let's see how this new GPT-4 plugin does. So the prompt is going to be extremely simple. Extract a detailed list of LSI keywords from and Here's the URL. And I'm not sure if it's gonna use the plugin or just the general browse feature. Now it's using the plugin, nice. And the reason I said detailed, because in my previous situations, it would just give me like 10 keywords. Based on the content of the blog post, here are some latent semantic indexing keywords. So, okay, this is actually not too bad. And I'm, I'm tempted to compare it to Harpa. And if this video does well, I'll do a uh, complete comparison, but I'm very curious to know how this does against Harper. So this is Harper, the same article. And see, there is a, so obviously there is a more sophisticated prompt behind, behind Harper because it is uh, being told to create a table with density. So, say keywords, keyword and lychee, vitamin C, fruit, safe vitamins, and this looks like a more detailed approach, more robust approach to LSI keywords. Let's get back to ChatGPT, and yeah, this is just so. This looks like your general list of keywords. Um, and I would have to give this round to Harper, even though this is not a comparison, but it is a, it's done an okay job. I'm tempted to give it a pass, but yeah, I was expecting uh, a better result. Okay. Okay, so use case number three is about search intent. 
So look at, and this is, uh, and this is our URL and let me know of the search intent behind the keywords, whether the article answers the intent and also give me five recommendations to improve search intent if needed. So once again, it's using the plugin, nice. The search intent behind the keyword can dox it long and is informational. Users with this query are looking for detailed information on whether it's safe for dogs to consume long end. The article does a good job of answering the search intent, thank you. It provides a clear answer to the question, explains the health benefits and blah blah blah. However, there are a few recommendations to improve nice. Improve the introduction, the introduction could be more focused on the topic. The personal story about the author's dog style is engaging, but it doesn't directly address the search intent. And if you remember, I did the same with Harpa and it came up with a very similar recommendation as far as introduction goes. Use subheadings for related questions. The article addresses several related questions, but these are not highlighted with subheadings. Cool. Add a table of contents. And this is weird because as far as I remember, this has table of contents. Okay, so it wasn't able to fetch that. Include more external links and optimize the conclusion. Conclusion should summarize the key points. Well, this is actually, these are very good recommendations. I do like external links in the article. Uh, it completely missed this point here, but the rest is very good. So this is a pass from me also. So along the lines of search intent, let's try another one, another use case. Check the on page SEO of, and this is our URL and provide recommendations. So, okay, based on the content of the page, here is an analysis of the on-page SEO and some recommendations. Title tag is clear, however, could be improved by making it more engaging. For example, is it safe for dogs to eat long and a detailed guide? Uh, I'm not sure if it's more engaging. Maybe it is. It's in the form of a question, so that's why. Meta description, the meta description is not visible in the provided content. I actually don't remember if uh, there was a meta description and I don't have access to the backend anymore. URL structure is SEO friendly, okay. Keyword usage is used appropriately. Image optimization. The provided content does not indicate whether images are used, so it doesn't see whether there are images. Internal content quality, mobile optimization, page speed. And these are some very generic recommendations. So I'm not sure about that, guys, actually. Um, maybe the internal links, it was on point with number six, number one also. Uh, the, check the keyword usage, which is good, but this is uh, pretty standard and ordinary. So I will give it a pass, but this is not something to write home about. And I saved best for last. So let's check the SERPs for Candox in Longan. And I want to give it a new task, which is my check the current rankings for URL and look at the other URLs that are higher and give me recommendations for outranking them. And this is important based on their content because I think I'll get something very generic like use backlinks, improve page speeds, and I want to know what their content is for outranking them based on their content alone. Let's see what happens. Okay. And uh, 
throughout this video, I'm actually hoping and crossing my fingers and hoping that ChatGV doesn't crash on me. I'm sorry for the confusion, but as an AI model, uh, I don't have real time access to the internet. Wow. However, can provide general recommendations. No, I don't want general recommendations. Hmm. Okay, let's try another. Let's just try and rerun this. Because it does have access to the internet. So what are you talking about, ChatGPT? So it doesn't want to do that. Uh, let's try it. Um, let's try another prompt. My article, this is the URL, is ranking. What's its place? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is ranking at number six on Google. Below are the URLs that outrank me. Let's try to paste in the URLs. And if this works, that's this is going to be epic. So below are the URLs that outrank me. And these are all the URLs. Give me suggestions for improving the content. And again, I'm asking about the content because I'm not interested in advice about backlinks and page speed. Okay, so click the first link, which is good. And it read the article, so it appears. Okay, nice. And it has to read for more. And again, I'm crossing my fingers that it does. So we try the second article, nice. Okay, two more to go. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, doc time is giving ChatGPT some hard time. That's what she said. Oh no. So it did need it, it did not read the content of doc time, which is a bummer. This is a big website in the niche. Okay, and it did read the last one. Okay, based on the analysis of the content from the URLs, they are ranking higher than your article. Here are some suggestions to improve your content. Detailed explanation. The articles that rank higher have detailed explanation about the fruit, its origin, and its characteristics. You could include more information about the fruit itself, its origin, and its nutritional content. Oh, this is debatable. Because people like, like uh, there is this SEO joke going around that uh, what is a bad uh, article? A bad article is the article that tells you the origin of something before it actually addresses the search intent. Health benefits and risks. The higher ranking articles provide a clear list of potential health benefits. Feeding guidelines, expert opinions. I do like expert opinions. Visual aids, related foods, user-friendly user lay, layout. Hmm. Well, this is still pretty generic and um, based on the content from, and this is zero, I'm not done with you, ChatGPT. Give me concrete examples based on the above suggestions and I will switch that to taken into consideration. Mm. I'm actually a little bit disappointed that it didn't uh, turn on the plugin for that. So detailed explanation would be longer also known as dragon eye is a tropical fruit native to Southeast Asia. And you tell me, like, you're a dog owner and you want to know if uh, your dog can eat long and do you really want to know about the origins of long and? Health benefits and risks, while long and is high in vitamin C. This is a very short paragraph. I have no idea why, why this is ranking uh, number six, because this is a poorly written article. And it was a while ago well, when I didn't know better. So health benefits, yeah, it could have been in a least format, feeding guidelines. I don't know. I feel I'm at crossroads with this one. 
it looks like it gave some uh, good advice but i still i still have this gut feeling that it's it's very generic and it didn't even look at my content well let's give it one more try taking into account the suggestions above write a new article for and i'll give it the url just in case and it actually used the title that it suggested a while ago when i was playing around with the search intent <laughs> uh, it actually insisted on the uh, origins of the long end okay health benefits it's too bad it's not in markup formatting. Well, the health benefits section, a little bit longer than what I have here, but nowhere near the recommended list formats. How to safely fit long in, uh, Dr. Jane Smith. So it references uh, an expert, nice. Comparing long to similar fruits. Do I compare it to other fruits here? No, I don't. And conclusion, dogs can eat longer, but it should be given in moderation. So I'm not sure, guys. It might be a better version of the existing article, but uh, I don't think this will outright outrank, <laughs> outright outrank uh, the competition. So there you have it, five use cases of this new SEO plugin, which is called WebPilot. So first we use the sitemap for the blog post suggestions. Then we try to extract our site keywords. Then we played around with search intent, then checked the on-page SEO. And lastly, we tried the infamous, famous outranking prompt that many plugins have. That's it. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.